forget this they are not cheap they are not basic at all encounters the first platform that grants a man access to walk with god is encounter everybody say encounter encounters are very very important because they birth spiritual realities in our spirit by encounters i don't just mean visionary encounters even encounters through the word an experience that makes god real to you an experience that makes a dimension of god real to you it could be aided through a vision it could be aided through a supernatural experience but regardless of what platform it comes through any experience capable of making a dimension of god become real to you is called an encounter true encounters produce conviction not memory conviction a true encounter listen it doesn't just leave you with a memory it produces conviction if you tell me you've had an encounter with a dimension of god i will know i don't care whether you claim you had a vision or a scripture opened up to you when it is opened up to you the first time that you had an encounter is unusual conviction it translates to faith if god gives you an encounter of his healing power it produces conviction if god gives you an encounter of a dimension of spiritual reality it must come with conviction say conviction there are so many people in the body of christ who are not convicted about the things they teach it's one thing to teach from a theological standpoint and that's important it's one thing to teach from a sociological standpoint but it's one thing to teach from a depth of conviction it's not by shouting it's not the volume of your voice it's not the the repetition of your grammar conviction is a realm where you're speaking your listeners know that the things you are saying are true with you say encounters we must crave for encounters you know people who don't really understand this thing think that all we are advocating is that people begin to have out of body experiences and they begin to propose as though you are telling people to not pay attention to the word of god to now begin to contend for angelic encounters heavenly encounters as above the word of god no the bible says god appeared um to samuel in shiloh by his word are we together he appeared by his word so an encounter doesn't necessarily mean until you see an angel and he says promise i was sent from heaven to you that from today you take the healing power of god to the nations and then every time you stand you say i remember what the angel said yes that's an encounter but there are men like reinhard bonke who had encounters they never had any visionary experience when you listen to reinhard bonke's story he will tell you that a day came they brought in a great man of god to preach the man preached the first day and told all the sick people to come by the second day and the morning of the second day reinhard bonke was excited because they were going to wheel all kinds of sick people in africa if you tell people to bring the sick they are obedient they will bring the sick whether they are related to them or not they will that sense of nationhood will kick in they will drag every sick person and so they brought those people and the preacher told Renhard Bonke, he said, the Lord told me to pack up my things and get out of this place. You will preach and you will heal. Renhard Bonke said, no, 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 no. You can't be playing. I mean, you are the great man of God. I'm only here to encourage you. And he said, I'm sorry, I have to be on my way. Renhard Bonke said he cried and cried because his ministry was about to be shredded into pieces. And then all of a sudden, that's an encounter. The word of the Lord comes. You don't read it. It comes in the fifth day of the fifth month of this the word of the lord came there's the one you try to get but the one that comes is what produces encounter and renard bonke just looked and said lord i will go and do the preaching and you will do the healing and that was it a man who has produced a ministry that has liberated africa encounters you can be reading a scripture you can be reading john 3 16 
but one day the word of the lord will come to you for god so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son that whosoever believes in him when that encounter comes you can sing songs like yes jesus loves me you sang it in sunday school it was not an encounter it was a recitation but when it comes as an encounter you will sing that song and you are crying and somebody looks at you and says ah, ah you are deeper than this and he said that's the point it has not come to you but it came to me are we together encounters my life is a testimony of encounters i can point to you exact periods in my life where certain things happen that birthed certain convictions that have been responsible for releasing certain dimensions of spiritual possibilities may god give us encounters Amen. the meeting is called koinonia and the first thing you should get is an encounter if you are a prayer leader without an encounter a pastor without an encounter an apostle a prophet whatever you call yourself a time will come your lack of assurance will become evident to those you are leading are we together it's not by bold face bold face is not encounter i know god will show up please encounters produce convictions unto death but i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded say god give me encounters say it again god give me encounters you believe god has called you into the ministry of kingdom wealth but you are not sure you don't have encounters so you are hoping you will be rich to prove to people that you were called into the ministry of kingdom financing you lack encounters listen an encounter makes your conviction as your primary evidence not physical results your conviction becomes your primary evidence so god can call you to the nations as at the time you are speaking the only other listener is your wife but you still say god called me to the nations i love men of convictions conviction conviction we we live in a result driven a carnal result driven generation where until you produce physical results that can be seen people oftentimes will not believe you so you will need encounters let me tell you so that when things do not happen the way you want you are still left with your encounter job said though he slay me yet will i trust him i know him the god in the mountain is still god in the valley let me tell you why many people gas out many pastors many preachers i've seen a lot of preachers say god sent me to so 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 city when the city became too hot and whipped them they left quietly encounters give you stamina encounters give you stamina encounters give you stamina he said if you turn aside in the day of battle he said your strength is small one guy came and met me one time and he said god has called him into the apostolic ministry i said congratulations a few months later it became too hot for him and he came back he said i get it now i'm an evangelist i said go. i told him i said go for a retreat a retreat that produces an encounter because he thought it's just in the name usually when it becomes too hot people change persecution <laughs> we think the name will give you access for preaching fast so you say i am prophet a and b and c and then the heavy controversy that lands on your head you quietly remove it and say i am pastor joshua selman <laughs> say encounters may god give us encounters Amen. one big secret in my life is that god used encounters to convince me of my call solid encounters both visionary encounters word encounters prophetic encounters that's why no matter what anybody says or does i will never even pray about it that's how certain i am 
when you try to explain things to people you don't have conviction enough please talk to someone by your side and say get conviction get conviction strong conviction are we together strong conviction we doubt and we fall by the wayside and we make a mess of and you know it's a terrible thing to brag so much before people and then you are now forced to defend your advocacy but the encounter that will sponsor your confidence is not there if i believe god has called me to carry the healing anointing and there are 100 wheelchairs and i pray for them and nobody gets healed i tell them may god bless you and uh have a nice day and i'll go to sleep and someone says but man of god ah it's either you are backsliding or something has happened i will go back and challenge myself to rise greater but i'll not go back saying god if it's that i didn't hear you well can you explain to me again no we're laughing but i'm, I'm trusting that god is speaking to us encounters do you know that the world follows men of conviction if i am a thief today there is a there is a certainty about my stealing that will force you to say look this guy knows what he's doing he's worth hearing terrorists are men of encounter and conviction they have met spirits the spirits told them certain things so while the government is trying to advise them and say why don't you become nice social beings they say all of you are confused and we are out to kill you and bomb you and you say are you sure you'll do this yes what of your life what of your wife and your family and they say to hell with them conviction from an encounter what encounter do you have that sponsors your confidence oh i saw god give a jimmy this it's not enough reason you must have a personal encounter we lack this a lot i'm taking out time to help you understand this we lack this a lot in the body of christ you can borrow joshua selman's revelation listen to one koinonia message and just write everything out and preach in a conference and say god said there is this and that and that but you know there is a way people look through you and they see that even you as you are preaching you are just saying lord i hope i'm right i'm about to pray joshua Selman prayed after that message and now i'm about to pray after my own then you stand and speak and say i see angels everywhere whether or not you are seeing them because you thought i was lying so now you say i see angels overflow are you ready say yes no encounter that's how preachers disgrace themselves convention after convention till everybody in your circle stops bringing you for meetings because you have a track record of copying with no results someone can guide you but the ultimate journey is that you meet christ you meet him not just theologically but you have an encounter say amen, amen. it's good to know the god of joshua selman but stay until that God becomes your God. The people told the woman, the, the Samaritan woman, he said, we believe you now, not just because you told us. We have seen him for ourselves. You came and introduced us, but ah, talking with him, he did something to us. In the name of Jesus, may God give us encounters over your business, over your life over your family so that when you go and you look at your cgpa and you look at it from 4.5 god forbid but you drop to 3.5 and you see three carryovers you don't suddenly say ah and god said i'll be a leader god you must come and you see some prayers are are revelations of the doubts you've been nursing for many years so what you have feared secretly now comes upon you and you say god but you told me now you told me eh? you told me that this brother will marry me this one that he has done introduction what are you saying don't make noise until you have the burning bush experience we brag too much on hearsay 
I watch preachers talk sometimes and I'm saying, be careful though, Jesus is Lord, but his Lordship is exercised with wisdom and understanding. If you are not healed in this meeting, except I'm not called. Hey. At the end of the meeting, only two people are healed. Encounters. Encounters. I pray for them. I create the atmosphere for them. I desire them in my life. Encounters. It's not about reading the Bible, Genesis to Revelation. It's not about quoting scripture, as important as it is. It's not about a display of Greek and Hebrew words. Encounters produce convictions. Convictions produce faith. What of the Lord says, and they that sat in darkness have seen a great light. The light of the Lord has come to you. Don't keep it to yourself. Do well to share to your loved ones just by clicking the share button below and tell us your what you feel like on the comment box below. And don't forget to subscribe. Strike the notification bell to stay in touch with God's word on every day basis. Thank you so much.